In this session, we're going to look at some of the controls that come bundled with Lightroom, which will enable you to sort out the problem of converging verticals. This is a frequent problem when shooting buildings from outside. You'll see here this quite large structure I photographed. Even though I had my very wide angle lens, I had to stand quite close to the building. And as a result, I had to tilt my camera upwards in order to ensure that the whole building was included in the frame. Unfortunately, the result of that is this rather nasty convergence of the vertical lines in the, in the structure. Uh, it looks a little bit like the phenomenon you get when you look at a railway track with the lines receding into the distance. Although we know that the building is, should be the same width at the top as it is at the bottom, because of this effect of the perspective distortion, we're actually giving the impression that the building is narrower at the top than the bottom. We've got to sort this out. This is one of the things that really separates professional work from amateur work. And as real estate photographers, a listing is going to look so much stronger if we sort out this problem of receding verticals. So what we're effectively looking for from Lightroom is a tool which will enable us to pull these vertical lines outwards towards the edges of the picture and that will enable us to represent the building in a more pleasing and natural way. And fortunately, Lightroom comes bundled with a tool which will enable us to do just that. You need to be in the develop module because we're going to apply an adjustment to the image. And if you scroll down in the tabs on the right hand side, you will come to the lens corrections panel. And the one that's of interest to us here is the manual adjustments. We're going to make a manual adjustment to sort out the vertical lines. And before we do anything, if you mouse over any of these controls, you'll see a very useful grid appear over the image. And that can be really, really helpful for gauging the effect of whatever adjustment you apply in this panel. So let's apply some vertical adjustment to that image by moving this slider to the left and pulling out the verticals so that they're nicely represented in our image. And I'm using the overlay grid as a way of checking the degree to which the verticals in my image are deviating from that precise grid that's overlaid on the image. And what I like to do is actually move beyond the point that I think is correct and settle back to the point at which I haven't quite applied enough and just settle on what I reckon is about the right placement there. I'm doing that with the slider. Now, you can enter more precise values in this value window here. Once you've got in the right vicinity and you're checking with the grid to see whether you're correct, I would say that could do with a little more adjustment, just looking at the uh, top of the structure here on both sides. So I'm going to go into the window here and double click and remember to apply a negative adjustment, so I'm hitting minus on my keyboard, and I'm going to type in 50 and hit return, and that will enable you to apply adjustments in much finer increments. I could again go into the window and, let's say, dial in 52 to see how that looked. I'm going to settle back to 50 because I think that's a better adjustment. But you may prefer to do it this way rather than using the slider, which can tend to be quite a coarse initial adjustment. So we've carried out quite an extreme adjustment to the perspective of this image. The top of the image has been pulled outwards and the bottom of the image has been pulled inwards, leading to this unattractive grey untenanted space around the edge. And the way to get rid of that is to check Constrain Crop in the Lens Correction palette. If you click on that, Lightroom will confine our image to just image containing pixels. Get rid of the grey area and you've got a fairly presentable result. You can move on to the next image. However, I'm not totally happy with the fact that this process has led to the very top of the structure just being cut off slightly. So if I undo that and go back to our original, there's a further control that we can use, which is the scale command. And if I move the scale command back, I can actually see the entire image that I used for this transformation. And there's actually plenty of room 
above the structure that I could use in order to represent it more naturalistically. So I'm going to move the scale tool to just the point at which I'm touching the sky there and then simply go to my crop tool and with the original aspect selected and I'm going to lock that aspect ratio I'm just going to pull in the edges of the crop to the point at which I've got sky and most of the building and just lose the edge of that car there pull that down slightly and I think that is a better rendition which leaves me with the building in its entirety and a nice straight image so controlling perspective in Lightroom is one of the most useful refinements that came in with Lightroom 3 we're now on Lightroom 4 but this ability to a fixed perspective on the fly as it were is one of the things that really has transformed workflow in Lightroom there are more complex things that we can look at in future sessions such as adjusting perspective horizontally rather than vertically and looking at other controls that we can use but for the moment I think that one tool could really really help any real estate photographer's workflow enormously.